up welcome back to my channel as you can see my face is looking not naked but you you know I'm missing some stuff like I feel like a make, made up face without mascara just looks wrong but yeah I finally got in the mail some KKW ultra light beams I love that song by Kanye by the way but yeah I wasn't sure if I should make this video or not because the hype for them has died down like they came out way earlier this month December 1st I believe but I don't think anyone has gotten them unless you're like a huge influencer and you get things sent to you for free. I don't think anyone has, I don't know why I said that so bitterly. I mean, obviously they're gonna get shit for free. Anyway, I don't think anyone has gotten them until this week because of the fires in California. Honestly, California is horrible right now. And I hope everyone in there is safe. I hope you guys have all left and you're in like a nice, not fire wrecking house right now. I'm sorry if you can hear construction in the back. I'd rather have people safe and sound than them being burnt to death because they're trying to package my highlighter and gloss, you know. Priorities, I could wait a little bit. So yeah, let's just talk about the highlighters. KKW has been getting a lot of shit from people for being basically overpriced, not that amazing, like not worth the money kind of stuff. Like when I saw her put out those contour sticks, I was I was not interested in the slightest. Like I thought the concept was cool, but what are they? Like 50, 40 something dollars for that small amount of product. I was like, you know what, I'll pass on that. I'm not even that big on contour anyway. But when I saw these glosses and highlighters, first of all, one thing, I, I'm a really basic person when it comes to makeup. I don't go all out on eyeshadow, but I make up for it with gloss and highlight because I just they just make me happy. So when I saw her put out these things, a lot of people were saying, oh, you're just ripping off Rihanna. Or um, a lot of people were saying she was ripping off Stila because the packaging to their liquid eyeshadows looks so similar. But I don't know, I still want it because I thought it was a good deal. Like, you get a full-size lip gloss and a highlighter for only $34. I'm, I was surprised that she priced it so reasonable this time. So yeah, I snatched three of them up. I got the shades yellow gold which i'm really excited for because i've been dying to try yellow highlighter i didn't want to get that big rihanna trophy wife one because i know i'm not going to use that like look at me it's, it's just not going to look good on me um i also got bronze and rose gold i'm sorry if you were expecting i got the whole collection I'm not rich can't afford it however i am sad to report you are still kind of getting ripped off the Fenty Gloss Balm, which is probably very similar to this, is 8.5 grams for $18. So, you know, decent amount of product. It's a good product, worth the money, I would say. I really like it. I wear it all the time. The Ultra Light Beam Gloss only comes with 3.50 grams of product. So if you divide, like, the retail price by two, because, you know, there's two items in the duo, this would come out to $16. So... Yeah, you're definitely still getting ripped off. You get like double that or a little over double that for just $18. But then again, you do get a little baby highlighter, which is 2.12 grams. So if you ask me, you're still getting ripped off. That's why like I noticed on the website, it doesn't say how much product is actually in it. So it seems like you're getting a good, de good deal. But no, you're basically getting like little minis. Anyway, let's open it up because I still haven't opened it like the packaging very nude i actually like you know the little ziploc bags i know a lot of people think it think it's like cheap but i don't know she's very like minimalistic okay so here's the gloss bomb and i will say i do like the packaging but i don't like this for some reason i'm gonna get close so you guys can see um can you guys see that let me turn off my lower my lights wait so i just turned off one light so you guys could see there is a tiny little crack it's not like something i could rub off there is a crack on my gloss bomb sorry it's so blurry yeah there it is you see that little crack so you already know i'm gonna melt that for youtube oh my god what the fuck kkw i got a cracked lip gloss what the i'm just kidding like obviously um it does take points away from the overall presentation but hey i mean let's look at the wand one oh looks like a flexible Ooh, the one is nice and flexible. I mean, you know what? It still is operating, it's functioning, so... You know what, KKW? It's okay. It's okay, Kim. I understand you're busy. You got two really cute little babies. So here is the highlighter, the gold one, which I'm excited. Like I said earlier, I'm dying to try a gold highlighter. I do like the packaging. It's just very cool, crystal-like, metallic. Not metallic, but you know, it's just... It looks bougie. I like it. So yeah, the top just pops right off, so... I'm just gonna swatch it real quick. How do I use this? It's like... It's like a powdery. 
I never used a highlighter like this. Do I look stupid right now? So here is a very shitty swatch. I just did really quick. It actually, it doesn't look like super gold to me. It looks very, is this gold? Let me just double check. Oh, my dumbass. This is fucking bronze. I'm sorry. This is bronze. Yeah, this is bronze. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, this is bronze. Um, nice, I guess. Um, I think this would look really good on my cheekbones. Now I want to try the gold one. That's actually the one I wanted to try out first. So my bad. The one that's broken is the bronze one. Okay, sorry. See, we all make mistakes. Okay, I'm just going to swatch the gold one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is the gold one. Very yellowy, very glittery. So I very quickly just threw on some eyeshadow from this Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Now I just want to dip into the yellow gold one because I've been really excited to try it, as I've said 20 times already. So I'm just going to pack it on with a shader brush, dry, and just put that on my lid. Oh! Ooh. Can you guys see that? She is pigmented! Wow, that is so much pigment. Wow, that's not even winning the brush. Holy mackerel. Y'all see that? Cool as frick. Wow. I'm putting another layer on. That was without any water or anything. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm messy with my eyeshadow. I suck at putting on eyeshadow, but I think you can see these highlighters are no joke. So yeah, that's one eye. Very nice. So on the other hand, I'm just going to spray some Fix Plus and dip into it and smack it on this eyelid just to see if there's a huge difference. There probably will be. So let's see. Yeah, it's, um, it's way more vibrant and it's also like less possibility of having fallout that way because of all the glitter you know the glitter i could see a lot of fallout if you really pack it on so wetting it just makes it more easy to manage all right so i am in love with yellow gold i suspect i will be using this on my eyes a lot really beautiful color i'm really tempted just to put it in my inner corner but i'm gonna give rose gold a chance and put that in my inner Corners. Here is rose gold. I swatched it right here. It's like a little pale pinky color. Hope you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna put rose gold dry on my inner corner. It's not like super bright, you know, like not like a bright ass inner corner, but it's very subtle and pretty. Now she's gonna get wet. Yeah, wet it is more intense and I'm getting a lot of glitter fallout with this one. So just, I mean, who doesn't want glitter all over their face? Sorry, I know it sounds like I'm sucking Kim Kardashian's tea right now. I mean, I, I like the highlighters. I think they're really pretty. I think I'm overdoing it with the rose gold in my inner corner, but it's very nice. Very poppin'. All right, I'm gonna keep you guys zoomed in because I'm going to highlight now. First off, I'm gonna highlight with the bronze. Uh, what is it called? Ultra Light Beam on my cheekbone over here. I see that? I, it's not, um, it's really, uh, not that noticeable. I'm gonna pour some more out. I'm just gonna put on some more highlight. Um, why does my eyebrow look dirty? Yeah, I think I shouldn't have put on so much. I'm gonna blend that out. Yeah, so the bronze one on my skin just comes up as just like a mild, like nice little glitter. So it's very subtle, glittery highlight. To be honest, it just looks like the dewiness from my foundation, kind of. But, um, okay, bronze. I kind of got that shade more for the lip color anyway, so. Alright, so since the bronze look kind of lame on me, maybe it'll look better on darker skin tones. It'll probably be more noticeable. I'm going to just go over with the gold one. That's, that's a bit better. Yeah. That's not, that's not bad. I like how it's not like a strip, you know, like a weird strip of gold. Like, it's nice and just blends into my skin. So, that's pretty dope. I, I think I would actually wear this out. I'd probably blend it out a little bit with a sponge. 
but um, just so that, you know, it's blends into my skin better. I'm not crazy about it. I like it much better. My eyes look so good in my eyes. All right, now I'm going to use the rose gold highlighter for this cheekbone. I have a feeling this will probably be the one that I like the most. I mean, I hope. Here's the way. Okay, so I think that really just mixed with the gold. My bad. I'm just going to use this um, rose gold one to highlight Every, oh god, what what am I doing? Honestly, guys, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I find I, I find the packaging to be really irritating. I don't know how to get these out of the bottle. I pour it out and look what I just did. I just made a glittery mess. Like mm, these are kind of going all over the place for me. So yeah, I didn't. I don't want to hate on it because my queen Tati left such a good review, which convinced me to buy it. But I'm not really liking them right now i just rather them be in a packaging like this the fancy beauty one like you know it's easy to just swipe put on your face with that i have to like pour it out it kind of goes over the place don't I'm not a fan I'm not a really big fan all right now moving on to glosses i don't think this will disappoint me because come on it's gloss how could you fuck that up well oh my god uh not acceptable so no offense to her but these are fucking garbage. I mean, Kylie did kind of fuck up with those wands when she first put it out, but I think, you know, she probably warned her sister about it. So yeah, let's uh, put on the gold one first. Okay, so I like the wand. I like how, you know, it bends with your lips. So it feels pretty cool and nice and soft. The gloss doesn't feel as nice and moisturizing as the Fenty Gloss Balm. But it doesn't feel sticky, so that's good. It actually feels really comfortable. And it also doesn't feel as slick on application. Uh, I don't know how to really explain that. It just doesn't really smooth over. Like, you really gotta pull that over, all over your lip. Okay, so I just zoomed you guys back in just so you could really see the glitter. It's not, like, that noticeable unless you look really close to my lips. But I see a little bit of gold glitter there. On to the next one. Now I'm going to put on Rose Gold. Yeah, I really love this applicator. It's so easy just to get really in the corners of your mouth. This one is the same as last one. It's also very clear and subtle. Um, it's basically a clear gloss with some like rose gold light glitter. I guess the yellow gold one had a more yellowish tint. Um, yeah, it's nice. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's not really that impressive. Okay, so I know my lips look really pink right now, but that's like just the natural color of me rubbing off the lipstick. It has nothing to do with these clear, glittery glosses. But I hope the bronze one really delivers because I bought this one because I thought, ooh, bronze, like that nice like little brownie shade. I think that will look good on me. So let's try bronze. I mean, the, um, the ultra light beam highlighter was a fail, so hopefully this isn't. Here it is. To be honest, I think it's very similar to all the other ones I tried on. I don't really see a huge difference between all of them. I'm not trying to be a hater here. I'm being dead honest. Don't really see a huge difference. Um, I guess this one does have more of a brownish tinge, but to me, they all just look like sparkly clear gloss. The noticeable difference is that the yellow gold one had yellow glitter, but this one and the rose gold one, the glitters both look white, like whitish. I don't know. Let me just really fucking get in here. I mean, it's super pretty up close, wow, but I don't really see a huge difference between all of them. Alright guys, now for my final thoughts on what I think of these things. Um, I'm not gonna bash the highlighters too much just because I don't really know how to apply it with this like salt shaker kind of thing. I have the RCMA powder, which is the similar packaging and I never use it because of that. So I'm not gonna bash it, but I will say, I kind of like the highlight, the bronze one I'm never gonna use. I'll probably only use it for the eyes and the gloss. I think my favorite one is the gold because it's just so pretty on the eyes, highlight, and the lips, the rose gold. I didn't really play for, with the highlighter that much because you saw I made that mess. But um, it's okay. I think the gold kind of overpowered it though. 
Um, as far as the glosses go, if you want to buy this for the gloss, you could buy any one of these and I honestly don't think you'll see a huge difference. Is it worth $32? No, I would have gone $10 cheaper. To be honest, because you're getting such a small amount, the glosses really aren't all that. The highlighters, they're good, you know, but are they $32 good for that small amount? I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you get this? Would you try it? I recommend that if you do want to get your hands on these, I would just get like one, honestly, color you really like. I don't really think they're worth them that much money. But yeah, guys, um, that was just my honest opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sorry to any uh, Kylie Jenner or Kim Kardashian fans. Please don't kill me. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.